decided to just scratch out the entire video because I just didn't like the way it turned out. And we're just going to get straight to watering some plants as well, giving you guys some plenty updates on what is going on to the plants. I did change a lot on the balcony because it's getting really, really hot and it's getting even harder to water the plants and make sure they're, you know, hydrated. So as you can see, it looks a little bit more empty and those girlies are still there. I did move my mandula down over here on the table because it keeps drying out too fast and doesn't have a saucer when it's hanging so now it has a saucer just to make sure because I forgot to water it for like four days in triple digits outside and this is what happened. She's gonna bounce back but it's just like kind of sad and here is the most up it an update I do have cuttings, rooting, and sphagnum moss. I'm hoping that it's gonna get bushy. As of now, I do not see no new shoots coming in. Here is this plant that we propagated, the variegated spiral ginger. Well, fence is everywhere. I have it outside because I want it to develop better roots, and I know it's gonna appreciate nice, warm soil. Here is the golden potos. Out of all the hoyas, this one literally blew up and it just looks really, really good. Oh, she left. Also, I don't know if you guys can see the birds. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm gonna go back inside. <gasps> There's two more in the nest, I think so. No! <laughs> That's what happened last time. The birdie already had wings. I was like trying to get a picture so I can see and it flew off. It looked fully matured, but those look a little bit gray, so I'm hoping they're gonna come back. They were flying as well, so like they're, they look okay. I'm gonna not go to the balcony again, but there's two more because there was four birdies that hatched. There was four eggs. Last time I checked, there was four babies, and then we just saw two flying out, so there's two more in there. But I'm pretty sure they can go back in the balcony. Ugh, I'm just so sad. No! <laughs> Anyways, they'll go back, I'm pretty sure. I did end up setting some Halloween decor to make it feel more festive in here because I was just getting a little bit depressing. Here are some St. plants that were outside. They were getting baked by the sun, but they should be perfectly fine now. The reason I like to place plants, especially like, for example, my snake plants, whenever I pot them and I'm a little bit aggressive with the roots, um, I place it outside because roots love warm temperatures. They really, really do. But you need to, you know, be watering it. Obviously, I only watered it... I guess not enough. I mean, it's not bad, but I don't know. So, yeah. Here's this beautiful aglonema. I really, really do love the foliage. There were some of these for like $9.98 at the Home Depot, and they're usually listed for $14.98. Here's the snake plants, which I did also just finish watering. I think I might need some more water. Ficus burgundy. Look at this new leaf coming in. And then here are some more plants. Here's my tricolor Syngonium. This is not the main plant. I ended up chopping the mother and you can kind of see two new shoots coming in. So it's gonna be a nice bushy Syngonium pretty soon. But it threw this thing out. A lot of plants look a little bit rough because again, they were outside and I finally placed them inside. I don't know why it took me so long. I just wasn't mentally ready and I felt like they would do a-okay. I just gotta go ahead and water them, but out of water and even like that variegated Chinese money plants right there that's gonna go inside very very soon because they're drying out way too fast than I can do but this is my variegated green heart leaf philodendron she's getting nice and bushy she did grow a lot in the balcony she's like kind of top heavy but how exciting and I'm happy I, I didn't chopped it because I would have been sad <laughs> all the holes I would have been sad and just these other goodies and then here is this hoya just chilling i did place a lot of the plants here because these are plants that always need water and i neglect so leaving them here in the kitchen where i'm usually always at like always washing dishes and stuff like that or well, even then i always see them compared to like they're just hiding in the plant room so i can water them on time so here's a rabbit's foot fern, which I'm so surprised that it's alive. And honestly, look at those rhizomes. Rhizomes, rhizomes. 
And this is some monstera delicious like cuttings that I took from the mother plant. Because I just love, I think monstera is one of the most prettiest plants to put in arrangements. I'm currently bottom watering this Hoya. And then this is the Barriga de Maranta zebra plant. She's still alive, surprisingly, right? And then this similar Maranta that was really bad that we did it from cuttings a while back. She looked lovely. And then I neglected it because I have a little phase of like not watering some plants or only watering with what I can. So I removed a lot of the dead leaves, but you can see a lot of new leaves coming in. This machine is from a video that's gonna be coming up pretty soon. We can see all the lettuce. Here are some other lilies. I'm not exactly sure what these are called, but these look super duper beautiful. And again, I had to transfer these instead of sauces to um, cash pots because they just really do love water. You can literally tell they look very like sensitive and they have very like, not thick, but like rubbery, like very like tropical. Like they just give off like they need a lot of water. So since they've been sitting, they're always usually sitting in water. I think they already dried up their the water so i need to water them again but they've been doing super duper good and then here is let me turn on the light here is my global green potos yeah no potos are my favorite they're just too super duper good nothing special about this plant but it does bring me a lot of joy when i pass by over here and then look at that i wonder that's how they made the lemon meringue the new potos from costa farm which i do have as well but yeah so basically this video is going to be about plenty updates. I've just been struggling on trying to like make a video. Like I'm never ever satisfied with the video. I feel like it's not enough or it's not, there's not enough information or I just really like do too much to not even post a video. Like I'm, I've literally filmed so many videos and then deleted them. Cause I was just like, no. <laughs> That's where like I, I have my little phases but I keep forgetting that like this is just for fun and i always try to be professional and even then i get my moments when i compare myself with other people and i'm just like no david like you literally did this plenty channel just for funsies and also plant shopping <laughs> and y'all it's been so difficult to do some plant shopping a lot of these stories look literally like this which we're gonna talk about in a bit why it's doing that and here's valentino but i've been going to Lowe's and everything and i'm just like I can't find no good like display of plants. They all look like mine in the balcony, like crispy. <laughs> so that's why it's just been a little bit rough on creating content. I do love making videos for y'all, but I just, I don't know. It's either make a poopy video and post a video or just not post a video and wait when the time feels right. So that's just what I decided to do. Like I'm gonna just post when I can. And obviously the goal is to post every other day, like either doing plant chores, plant shopping or plenty updates and stuff like that. But then there are days when I'm just like, I, I don't know, I just I just don't feel it as I'm like, I don't have anything new or exciting to say, you know? <laughs> so yeah, but this is a lemon meringue, 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 can never pronounce her correctly, but uh, lemon meringue potos. <laughs> She's not looking that great, but the newest leaves are looking pretty sexy. And yes, I mean sexy because like, it's a beautiful plant. Hey cutie, hey. And then I love it when they do this to go up the wall. It might stick, but it's okay. <sighs> it's such a beautiful plant. I just hope it can do okay. There's some other plants in here. This one was the Jacena Potos that I chopped up because she was getting very leggy and very ugly. But look at these new leaves. And you can see all the new sprouts coming up, you guys. Look at that. Look at that. And there's a saying on TikTok, I forgot what they say. Trust the process. That's what they say, right? Such a bit of a plant. Yeah. And then this peace lily. Yeah. Oh my goodness. She has been spoiling, spoiling me by giving me a lot of flowers. But I always have to chop them because of Valentino. Peace lilies, a lot, like a lot of plants in my collection, are toxic for cats. But Valentino doesn't bite the plants. But what he does like to do, he likes to rub his body against everything. <laughs> And if you know how pollen works, let's use a flower. Um, it, they, it, by the slightest touch, it, you're so dramatic, babe. By the slightest touch, drops pollen like crazy. So, that's why I gotta chop out the flowers because I don't want Valentino to have pollen on his fur and then something happens. He wants a better baby. Why are you so sassy? You missed him? You wanna say hi? 
Hi. <laughs> Here's my Baltic blue. Honestly, she is so big. <sighs> Literally insane. And it was doing so bad outside, but I bought it back inside and it has a little cash pot. Um, this Marble Cream Portos is just beautiful. Look at that. Lord, I love plants. I just wish I could drink an iced coffee right now, but I can't. Because I notice that coffee makes my stress or anxiety worse. <laughs> so I only take it in the mornings, and even then when I do, I gotta take it very, like, not so strong like I usually do. So, that's on that. Oh, so beautiful. And look how big she is. Uh, she is so huge. One of my oldest plants and one of my proudest babies. Here's a Manjula. She is always thirsty. She's thirsty again. This girl is so crazy, but she is beautiful. And then here is just this, uh, I think it's called Red Contra for the Dandron. New leaf coming in. The Chameleon ZZ. I have it close to the grill light because I want it to grow a lot faster. Like my Raven, which has been with me for so long and now she's so big. And she's always just giving me new leaves. They turn, they come out green and then turn black. Here is a different Becky Camouflage. She is still alive. Very surprised that she's alive. But again, she's getting a lot of light. This beautiful Ficus Elastica Tricolor was uh, dropping a lot of leaves because I was not watering it, but I just finished watering it. And she's doing great. Wolfman Sister Vera just put out this new leaf and it had a little bit, I just squished it. And I was panicking because I'm like, I don't see no variegation like the mother. But you can kind of see now, look at that. You can kind of see the variegation coming through. So really, really excited about that. Uh, variegated range of pepperonia. She's been going through it badly. I hope I don't kill it. It is gorgeous. I hope I can keep it alive. And then of course, Jessica Peace Lily, just doing the most as usual. I think Jessica is literally the perfect name because she is such a look at me plant and I would pro probably look at her like damn look at all this beautiful foliage she has a lot of babies it just came from one plant and I should grow lots of side shades like usually what peace legs do but she's been spoiling me with these beautiful leaves like look at that and every time I walk to the plant room I always gotta admire the foliage because it is just beautiful like literally so beautiful Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> and then here's this annoying plant. So it's a plant that I've been wanting so bad. It's a ficus shiveriana. She's been stuck in this stage. I'm not sure what she wants. I've been watering it. I think she might need some fertilizer because I'm waiting for some new leaves and she's not really giving that to me. And she's been here for a while. So she needs to step it up or like something's gonna happen. Here's the other plants on the table. It's a mess, but it's my mess. Here are the, the okay, remember the tricolor singlet that I showed you in the window in the living room? This is the actual vine. It was a beautiful vine, but it burnt a lot of leaves. And instead of me just cutting off the bad leaves, I chopped it up in nodes. And if you, as you can see, I gotta change the water. But there's a lot of new roots coming in and those will put out new leaves. So old me would have just thrown the, the nasty leaves away, but I was like, no, let me just chop it up, place it in water. And I have a lot of plants now with this beautiful tricolor syngonium that my mother would be happily to adopt once I get an established plant because she loves pink. <laughs> but look at this Hoya Chelsea. This plant gets a lot of light in the mornings. She's very spoiled. So beautiful. I love seeing the new leaves. And I gotta look carefully for these aphids because they're very... They love my Hoyas. They love, honestly, all the Hoyas. So here's my Burger and Thurium. I'm so surprised she's still with me. Look at this. And she's giving me a new leaf. Um, she's not looking the best, but honestly, the fact that I've kind of had my little phase of not watering a lot of my plants and she's still doing amazing, it's amazing. So I'm excited for that. And this is an Anthurium, right? This is also an Anthurium. This was a gift that was gifted to me at a nursery every time you bought a plant from them that day they would give you a free plant and this is one of them it was a little tiny plant now she's pretty big this is an anthurium one thing that i know about anthuriums is that people like to cross pollinate them and make new species so it would be super duper cool if i can give it if i can make it bloom now that's easier said than done it's a really difficult thing to do well for me 
But imagine if I can make this flower, that flower, and then cross pollinate them. Imagine what it would do. Like, that's super, super exciting. So here are the propagations that I was doing in the, my Virgara Mostara Peru. Um, it was starting to fuzzy roots, but I had to open it to let it air out. And then sadly, I forgot about it and it dried out. So I need to go ahead and sprinkle some water in here. Then close it again to build up the humidity. But that's another chunk, or they call it as Westex as well, from the tricolor syngonium because um there were some that didn't have any leaves and i couldn't just dip it in water so i just place it in here and that's doing that some other small things in here i mean this is the most beautiful plant ever this is my variegated no silver hero scandapsis she's putting out some new leaves and then this was a rooted cutting but it stayed dry for too long so this is what happens i might need to place it back in the sphagnum moss um because that's not that's not looking so good but that's how everything is turning out and oh yeah i was going to show you guys about everything else there is a lot to talk about but i think i can do it in another video because i don't want to make this video way too long but i do want to explain about this over here oh and by the way this is some more propagations the potting mix that i was using dries out way too fast like that's the cuttings from the from that the jessina potos these are the cuttings and these were the best looking ones so that's why i ended up placing them here they did have roots so this is not good i mean to keep that soil moist you can kind of see just noticed some of that variegation from the beautiful jacena so this is my variegated ba baby bunny bellies and it got dry to the bone outside and i was like oh my god so i chopped off as much as i could and obviously i can do more but I have it here now in the plant room where it's, it's a lot better the environment and I mean it's not as warm as it would like it but it would not dry out too fast. But you can kind of see some new leaves coming in so I guess I'd keep the soil moist and give it a nice grow light. Um, that's a beautiful aglonema. But here is some more water queen potos. You can tell, I mean I just finished watering some of them. But see, I just watered them two days ago like I drowned the saucer. And it's thirsty again so these plants are really really thirsty i mean it is summer right but these plants don't really know that especially the ones that are inside so when it's winter outside they still think it's spring inside <sighs> because they don't know they're they're in artificial light and stuff like that but i will get some water and i guess i can explain some of this stuff that i can see and talk about because a lot of the things i want to talk to you guys about but this is what my mom got me she went to corpus and she got this cute little thingy it smells really good. I don't want to light it up because, like, it just don't. So let me get some water and we can start watering some plants and ex just talk about the plants. Alrighty, I hope you guys can hear me, but I do got some water. I do have a, I think it's a gallon. I don't think it's a gallon, but it's just this water jug that we use to water a lot of the plants. Hope you guys can see. I'm going to be caution. I'm going to water that, 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 that. Okay. So we're going to water the Jersena Potos cuttings that were rooted. And the soil dries out way too fast. So this is the potting mix that um, the next garden they gave me. And it was literally only supposed to be meant for cactuses and succulents. But I was like, it looks so pretty. I want to use it on my house plants. Well, on my tropical plants. And that was a big mistake that I did. Because I think it's really bad on absorbing water and retaining moisture. Which is great for succulents and cactuses. But it's really bad for these tropical and their plants <laughs> but it's okay um this one is missing a saucer so i know i think i haven't posted for a week not that sure but like i said you guys is it it feels like i haven't posted for two weeks but i haven't posted for a week and it's because like i literally it was time to post that day and then i went to lowe's and everything looked bad and i was like it's okay i know sometimes they need some time to get new shipments and stuff like that so I went to Home Depot and everything was like, they were okay, but they're literally the same plants that we always see. And whenever I see that, I usually don't mind looking at those plants because I just like getting up from the apartment and looking at some house plants displays. But I remember I get comments of people saying, and I get it, and I do take criticism. Like I do take it in a lot because like it's a way to improve, right? But then I need to also know, like to take it with a grain of salt, right? And um, I remember that some people complain because they're like, we always see the same stuff, we always see the same plants, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> like I'm trying to find these stuff, and then I see these other creators, which by the way, they live in different states, so everybody has different stuff, 
Like, I remember there was time when I was seeing a lot of amazing houseplants here in San Antonio, Texas, and then um, other creators were struggling to find good locations. So it just depends where you live and stuff like that, right? <sighs> so this Manjula is so annoying. She's always trying. I was showing a bit. Um, here's Disney on Potos. That's always really, really thirsty as well. It's probably needs time. It's probably time to repot it, but I just don't want to do some repotting right now. <laughs> I really don't. It's really, really messy. Uh, as I was saying, um, I I just I, I don't want, I'm trying to find some really cool finds on these big box stores to make a really really cool video, and it's hard because I don't really see that. And then when I find a good location, that I think it's okay. I remember that some people don't want to see the same plants over and over and over again. Um, like a, like a, I saw a lot of civil blues at a location and I didn't film it because I'm like, no, because I just literally posted a video like that last week and I don't want somebody to like complain about that or like it's the same stuff, this and that. So, oh my god, look at this lemon amaranto. It's so thirsty. I should probably put that in the kitchen as well because these plants, they... I noticed that they don't really mind my, my tap water, which is really surprising. It just depends on like where you live. Can y'all see the peacock calathea in the back? Yeah. So yeah, but I don't know. It's, it's just that. But then I, I tell myself I can also just film, you know, plant choose videos like what I'm doing right now. Those are really really fun videos to um, to film. But then I also remember some people are like, and again, I just told myself right now, which is why I'm filming this video to take things with a grain of salt and then I cannot satisfy everybody out there, right? So that's why I'm doing this video and that's why I'm trying not to give up on, on I guess, showing you guys this because there was a moment, like I think it was yesterday and I have it almost every day that I just want to like get rid of my channel. I want to deactivate it or just uninstall the apps that notify me about the comments and stuff like that. Just based on like it's not there and work and just care for my plants privately and not share it. But then I love sharing because I love talking to you guys in the comment section. Well, I love hearing what you guys have to say. <sighs> so <laughs> it is a wrap. So that's why I decided to just post every other day and take everything with a grain of salt, like criticism and stuff like that. And you cannot pour on an empty cup. So if I feel like I need time for myself, just like anybody else out there, I'm going to give myself some time to, you know, recharge my batteries. But, so I hope that all makes sense. Y'all, it's just hard to find some really cool locations. I, I think when was it? Four days ago, I was like, I want to make a video. Like, I really missed the video. I want to get a, a, a really, really cool video, an open shopping video. And I went to like four or five locations, and they're all the same. And I'm just like, I can't find nothing cool. <laughs> and then I, I went home, and I was like, I can just film like, what do you call it? Like a plant choice video. But then I was so like upset and like sad that I couldn't find anything exciting that I, I didn't want to like film a plant choice video or even talk. I just wanted to like go to my bed and eat some Taco Bell and watch a movie with my boyfriend. That's all I wanted to do because I was like really, really bummed down. <sighs> it's just something, girl. I tell you. I tell you. <laughs> So I think what I'm gonna just like do, and I always forget how fun and exciting this stuff is. It's cause like, I feel, I just tell myself like, who's gonna watch this? Like me, like watering plants. And then I'm like, boy, you watch videos like this all the time. But I'm like, who's gonna wanna watch me? And like, the videos that I watch, they usually give out some really, really good plant advice. And I try to give out good advice, but I am not that wise. <laughs> so, it's just, it's literally all these personal problems, but it, at the end of the day, I do love creating content and I do love talking with you guys and hearing what you guys have to say and y'all give me advice and tips and sharing them with y'all as well. Also, let me say something else too. And I love plants. I really do. It's just sometimes when you're not in the mood, it can literally, like, it just takes a couple of days in the summer. <laughs> For your plans to go, how do you say, like to go west, to go south, to get really, really bad. Like they, my plans are sometimes, especially like my manjula, like I don't know if you guys can see, she's like right there. She is one of the most vocal plants out there. You, you can say like a vitonia or a peace lily, a peace lily, but you water them and it would bounce right back up. But my manjula, like if I don't water her, 
for a day, she will give me an endless amount of supply of yellow leaves. It could be a day, and I would already have three yellow leaves. I think it's because it likes to stay moist, and if it's not moist, it will pull out moisture from other leaves. I'm just gonna see my belly. I hope you guys can see that. <laughs> I honestly gained a little bit of weight. Oh my goodness, it's natural, right? It's normal. <laughs> I feel like someone's gonna say, no, it's not there, go get some help. Girl, I'm trying. I'm trying to get therapy, but. Mm, it's expensive. Ugh! Literally, and just for them to tell me, get depressed. Here's some medication. I'm like, so like, like, bye. No, that's not therapy, is it? No, it just depends. It depends on people's health. <sighs> Maybe I do need therapy. <laughs> Maybe that's what I need, girl. They said that everybody needs therapy, but like, her therapy helps everybody. I don't know if you guys saw how many leaves I just took out. I literally pulled out so many. And I, I promise you, I watered this mojito last week. But, damn. Whenever I decorate with my houseplants, I always consider lighting and spacing. Um, but now, as I'm getting older with my plants, I'm unlearning stuff about them, I realize that as an underwaterer, <laughs> <laughs> you really have to like can you guys see this there's some yellow leaves that i want to take off you really got to consider also placement as in like you don't want to place it in a spot that you're gonna like forget about it so i might say so some some people might say some stuff but for me i love the feeling of having a lot of husbands in my apartment i love the chocolate fields i love everything about it just because it wow wait what is that just because I love having a lot of houseplants does not mean that I love taking care of them. And I, I, I explained that a lot of times already before. I love walking to my apartment, seeing a lot of a lot of plants, and I love seeing a lot of plants all together. And to create that, you need a lot of plants, right? But a lot of plants requires a lot of watering, a lot of fertilizing, a lot of pruning, a lot of you know, a lot of stuff. It's just a lot of work, and that's where I. I didn't really want to or stand up for that. Well, I kind of did since I got it, since I have plants, but that's not really the joy that I get. Some people, and I envy mean, people that like find the joy on taking care of plants. Like that's their way of releasing dopamine. That's the reasoning of having plants. But that's not why I have plants. I have plants because they look so pretty and I want them with me all the time. I want to see them every day. But I gotta take care of these girls to look pretty. <laughs> and that's okay, er, er, to each their own, okay? Not everybody needs to think the same, because if we did, we'll be born. Everybody's individual. This is not in water. This is another plant. This is not a dramatic as a monjula, but the neonpotos does not like to dry up either. So I'm gonna get one more watering chug and water the super blue. I think the monjula can take a more water. No. And this uh, silver blue, neon potos, and my green heart leaf for the dandruff. And also the Scandapsis exotica, which I'll show you in a bit. I think that's basically it on watering. So let me get more water. Okie dokie, I got more water. I really do hope you guys cannot see my belly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Literally after this, I'm gonna go to Lowe's and Home Depot when boyfriend comes back. And I'm gonna see if I can find, or I'm gonna see if they have anything new and Lowe's, and Home Depot, and possibly Walmart. If not, I'm gonna be really, really sad. But I won't, I'm not gonna hold my breath. I don't know, because whenever I get my hopes up, I get super, like, it hits me twice. Like, I get really sad. <laughs> I get really sad. And, yeah. I'm on water. What else can we talk about? I hope you guys do enjoy. Uh, yeah, no way. Great, yeah, like you guys are always so supportive. I guess that's why like I don't want to like leave this channel and stuff like that because like we built such well not we but like well number one the community is literally so supportive and very very sweet but also like in this channel we built like such a supportive family like we're just I don't know like it just feels like a family like I can talk to you guys about anything sometimes things that I can even tell my family and y'all like get it you like you understand it and i don't want to like lose that <laughs> i don't want to like lose people that like understand me or get me like there are people in my family like my grandma and my mom right 
they love plants. But then I really like they love outdoor plants more than anything, and so do I. But like you and I, we love foliage, girl. Like we love house plants. We love variegation. We love looking at new plants that get released in the uh, got lows and stuff like that. Like my mom and my grandma don't really care about the new plants in the big box stores, which is perfectly fine to each their own. But like you get it, <laughs> and I love sharing with y'all whenever I do find something at those. This lemonade, this lemonade, this green hearty philodendron is so bushy. I already found the the thing. Sometimes I get scared of that when I water, it's gonna leak and it's gonna hit one of my grow lights. <laughs> That's one of my biggest fears. Nothing, you know, it hasn't happened. No hala nunca, like hopefully it never happens, but being realistic, realistic, I do have a lot of house in here, so the odds are rare. That ever happens. You gotta be super duper careful and not over water. But yeah, you know what I haven't done for so long? A, a plant, a video of like my favorite house plants. I literally gotta find the video of that because like those are so fun. Almost done. And what is this? Aloe vera. Also, the fungus has been so annoying. I wake up and I literally feel like I, have, I ate a fungus. Now that's why I removed a lot of the house plants in my bedroom because these fungus nets they don't know what privacy is and they're all over your business like everywhere like in my nostrils and my eyeballs i'm like you're not gonna find anything there <laughs> actually i take that back i know that fungus nets they're attracted to like the carbon dioxide that we breathe out so there's that but thank you so much for watching you guys i hope you guys enjoyed Ooh, it's always such, I don't know, like I always want to make this channel a really, really fun, positive, aesthetically pleasing place, but that's just not the reality. That is just not the reality. <laughs> I try hard, like we do every day. But um, yeah, I I'm gonna go and see again at Lowe's and Home Depot and Walmart, and hopefully I can see a cool shipment or just something, cause I go and there are so many better plants, and you would think they'll put them on clearance. And I only, I, I give up on asking. People always tell me, like, just ask David. I do. I literally do. But they look at me and they're like, there's still a green leaf. Like, literally, one time somebody told me, like, it's still green. I'm like, but it, like, half day. <sighs> like, not even a 50% discount. But, um, well, that's one of the best things you can get. Like, not even like a 25% discount. <sighs> that's on that. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Valentina wants to say bye. Wanna say bye, sweetie? Ah. Okay, I'll put you down. I know you want to go down. He wants to go down. Alrighty, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!